All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, our praises, honor, glory, being to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of the millstone, which are the elders of all, uh, of all Israel. Salutations to the elect, whoever you may be. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Um, I'm just hop straight into it, man. Because this subject popped up like two weeks ago. Well, I really wasn't going to touch on it, but I ended up reading the book uh, last week. And uh, the Spirit uh, drew it out of me, man. The spirit, hey, the Spirit gets what the Spirit wants, man. So uh, I'm going to kick it off with this, since we want to go into the topic of futurism. All right. First of all, we're prophets, man. Them two things go hand in hand. All right. But let me just read this. All right. Because certain things are worthy in the scriptures that actually happen, <laughs> that actually happen, but they have a, 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 a deeper meaning. A, a, a deeper uh, similitude, so to speak, man. All right, just like when uh, Isaiah walked around butt naked. Guess what? That was representing something that was going to happen in the future, and that was Israel being naked, man. All right. But here, I'm just kicking off with this Hosea 11 and 1. Right? It says, "When Israel was my child, then I loved him. I called my son out of Egypt." Now hold on. The nation of Israel did come out of the land of Egypt. But what's the deeper meaning to the scripture? All right? Because this, hey, this, this right here, <laughs> this is one of the perfect examples of futurism, man. Okay? One of the perfect examples of futurism. So when did Hosea 11 and 1 happen? That's why I'll ask you. When did Hosea 11 and 1 happen? All right? Because the scriptures teach futurism. And I'm about to prove it with the next scripture. All right? This is Matthew 2 and 13 through verse 15. And when they were departed, behold, an angel of Yahweh appeared unto Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise. And take up, I mean, take the young child, the young child being Yahweh Shai, all right? Take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. And be there thou until I bring thee word again, okay? For Herod will seek the young child, all right? Because you had what? Uh, when you go into that uh, the scripture about Rachel weeping, all right? What was going on, man? All right, Herod basically killed, I, I believe, uh, all the males of, of Israel from two years and, and younger. All right, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Her, for Herod would seek the young child to destroy him. All right, hey, and that goes into a hey, Revelations 12 when, when that dragon uh, had his mouth open, ready to receive the child, man. All right, even that itself. All right, yeah, that's talking about Esau, but guess what? That was pinpointing, uh, pinpointing uh, Herod, man. All right? It's, it's so many levels to the truth, man. Like the, the elder brought out a video the other day, man. This is a hyper drive, man. Hyper drive, man. And, and if Jake can't keep up, Jake can't get it, we ain't about to slow down. That's like, and, and Benji would get this limit too. That's like me having a terabyte of download speed and I want to go to, oh, well, I'm okay with 50 M, uh, MPBSs. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. This is hyperdrive, man. Okay? I don't know what you other guys on, but back to this, man. Okay? And he took the young uh, Salakia. Back to the scripture. When he arose, uh, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, right? And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken uh, of Yahweh by the prophet saying out of Egypt have I called my son now what prophet actually said that that's not contained in any other book in the Bible but Hosea 
All right, because when, when you get into the book of Hosea, he's really talking about all the bullshit the northern kingdom was doing. And it's ironic <laughs> that the last king of uh, Israel, the northern kingdom, his name was Howard Shai, man. <laughs> all right. And a Hosea name in Hebrew is Howard Shai, man. Okay. I'm not saying Jose was the king, you know. I'm just saying they, they had the same name. I'm just saying it was ironic. But uh, nonetheless, all right, even in the Gospels, yeah, that's that's nowhere else but in Matthews, all right, I believe. All right? So when did that happen? Ah, it got fulfilled in Matthews, the second chapter. But people re read Hosea 11 and 1. It's like, okay, well, yeah, Israel came out of uh, Egypt, which that's true. But there was a deeper meaning to that Hosea 11 and 1. Perfect. Futurism, man. All right? Futurism. All right? It's like you had a phone call. Um, but yeah. Like I said, that's the, uh, the, the perfect example of futurism, man. As well as you have with all the other uh, the scriptures, man. What you think the prophets of old were seeing? What you think Noah was seeing? All right? Abraham. All right? A A Abraham seen his ancestors, not his ancestors, his descendants, all right, in, in, in Egyptian uh, captivity for 400 some odd years, man. Guess what? That was futurism. Abraham seen, seen it, and it was to take place when? In the future. All right? Dualism. Well, I mean, and then you got guys that go into this term dualism. All right, well, I got a precept for you, man. Hold on. All right. So here, here, here's, here, here you go for your dualism, man. All right. This is uh, Sirach 42 and 24. That which is perfect because it's 42 then 2, 4. <laughs> but anyway, all things are double, one against another. And he have made nothing imperfect. All There you go, man. There's two sides to everything, man. All things are double, man. Okay? It's really that simple, man. Really that simple. But hold on. I got more for you. All right? So this is Psalms 104 and 24. Oh, Yahweh. How many <laughs> how manifold are their works in uh, Salakia? How manifold are thy works in wisdom has thou made them all? I mean, in wisdom have has thou made them all? Uh, what else it says? The earth, uh, the earth is full of thy riches, man. So it says, how manifold are thy works? All right. In wisdom, he said, has thou uh, made them all, man? So how how manifold is the works of Yahweh Bashim Shai? How, how manifold is, 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 is the wisdom of Yahweh? All right? Think about that, man. Okay? I got one more for you. All right? <laughs> here's, a, here's a precept I wasn't even looking for. And the Spirit brought it, man. All right? I told you that the Spirit gets what, uh, what the Spirit wants, man. All right? Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 22. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me. All right? For in her is the understanding in the Holy Spirit. I mean, in spirit holy. Only one. Manifold. So this is talking about wisdom. It said manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, love the thing that uh, that is good, quick, all right, because the spirit is quick, man, all right, which cannot be let it, ready to do good, all right? So, hey, <laughs> that's a plain cut in itself, man. All right. But wait, there's more. Hold on. All right. This is Job 11 and 6. And that he will show thee the secrets of wisdom that they are double to that which is. Know, uh, therefore, that Yahweh uh, exacted of thee less than thy iniquity deserves, man. All right. So it says, uh, the secrets of wisdom, they are double to that which is, man. So it's like, once you think you got the understanding, bam, there's a deeper level to it. 
it, it, it's deep, man. All right? Like the scripture say, the deep call it into the deep, man. Yeah, if Jake, hey, if Jake ain't on futurism or dualism, you can't really say that you're in the truth, honestly. And that's dead ass. You can't honestly say you're in the truth if you don't deal with futurism or dualism, man. Okay? So with that, I pray that you brothers was uh, edified from this. All right, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, all right, which are the uh, head apostles of all. So like it, all right. Like I said, to the uh, they're the apostles of all Israel, and salutations to the elect wherever you may be. With that, Shalom, Abad, Babal, okay, and uh, hey, death to you two thirds, and death to you false prophets. Shalom to the elect.